In this video, I'm going to teach you about prime factorization. All right, so let's go to the basics. So what is a prime number? Okay, a prime number is any number that has only two factors, itself and one. So these are all examples of prime numbers. So if you have a look at all the numbers, they only have two factors. So two times one is two. There aren't any more factors. Three times one is three. Five times one is five. So all of these numbers they can't be um, split up into any more than two factors. Please just take note here that number one is not a prime number. Um, one times one is one, but that's only one factor. Okay, so one has only one factor, which is one. All right, the rest of them have two factors. Okay, so then uh, what is the opposite of a prime number? The opposite of a prime number would be a composite number. Okay, so composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors. So if you have a look at this list, all of these numbers have more than two factors. So over here I can say 4 times 1 is 4, that's two factors, and I can also say 2 times 2 is 4. Um, with number 6 I can say 1 times 6 is 6, I can say 2 times 3 is 6. So there's more than two factors for composite numbers. Okay, so let's just have an ex do an example here. Okay, so list the factors of 84. So I've got 1 and 84, 2 and 42, um, 3 times 28 is 84, 4 times 21 is 84. So it has all the factors of 84 written in um, ascending order, so smallest to biggest. Then I could ask, okay, now list the prime factors of 84. So of all the factors, which ones are only prime factors? So if you have a look at your list, so I know that 1 isn't a prime number, but 2, 3, and 7 are all prime numbers. So the prime factors of 84 would be 2, 3, and 7. Then I can ask, um, list the composite factors of 84. So those would be all the numbers um, that have more than two factors. So basically, every single number here except for 2, 3, and 7, and 1. Okay. All right, then there's something called prime factorization. Okay, we're going to use the ladder method for this. I think it's just the easiest method that there is. Um, and you use, it's called the ladder method because it looks like a ladder. All right, so the question will be asked like this. Express 1764 as a product of its prime factors. Okay, so what prime numbers, when I multiply them together, give me 1764? So what times what times what times what gives me 1764? Okay, so I start by drawing a ladder. And I write the, the number I'm trying to figure out in the top right-hand corner, so 1764. Okay, then I'm going to see what can I divide 1764 by, but it has to be a prime number. Okay, so I know that I can divide 1764 by 4, but 4 is not a prime number, so I don't use 4. So if you look at the top right-hand side here, he has a bunch of prime numbers, so I can choose from these. Okay, so I know that it can be divided by 2, so I'm going to say 1764 divided by 2, and I get 882. And then I repeat the process. So I say, okay, well, what can 882 be divided by? That's a prime number. It can be divided by 2 also, and that will give me 441. Then I can see that 441 can't be divided by 2 because it's an odd number, so I go on to the next one. Okay, well, 3 is also a prime number, so 441 divided by 3, and I get 147. And then again, I divide it by a prime number, and I get um, 49. Then I can say, what well, can 49 be divided by? That's a prime number, 7. And if I divide 49 by 7, I get 7. And then what can I divide 7 by? I can divide it by itself, and that will give me 1. Okay, by the, once you reach 1, you've finished with your ladder. Okay, all these numbers on the left, these would be the prime factors. So if I say 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7, I get 1764. Okay, and this is how you write your answer. So you're going to write 1764 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. And then and notice that I've put them in ascending order, so smallest to biggest. And then I can simplify it. So I can say, well, 2 times 2 is the same as 2 squared. 3 times 3 is the same as 3 squared. And 7 times 7 is the same as 7 squared. So I can rewrite it like this. And that would be your answer. Okay, so you need to show you're working out using the ladder. And then you need to write the final answer. 1764 is equal to whatever the prime factors you found were. Let's do another example. All right, example number two, express 630 as a product of its prime factor. So again, I start with my ladder and I write 630 in the right-hand top corner. Okay, now I'm going to say, what can I divide 630 by that's a prime number? I can divide it by 2 and I'm going to get 315. 
I can divide 315 by that, which is a prime number. Okay, so don't try and divide it by like something like that's not a prime number, that's a composite number. Okay, I can divide it by 3, which will give me 105. 105 divided by 3 gives me 35. 35, the smallest prime factor that I can use there is 5, so divided by 5 is going to give me 7, and then 7 can be divided by itself to give me 1. And now that I've reached 1, I know that I'm finished with my ladder. So here are my prime factors. And again, I'm going to write 630 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. And I'm going to simplify these here because 3 times 3 I know is 3 squared. And that's my final answer. All right. There is an exercise for you to do, so start with that. Um, I'll post the memo later on in the afternoon. And if you have any questions, you can just post them on Google Classroom.